Hello and welcome to Hollywood at Home from Arizona Public Media. I'm Victoria Lucas. Tonight's movie is 1988's Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, starring Michael Caine, Steve Martin, and the glamorous French Riviera. And you couldn't ask for a better combination than that. Kane plays an elegant, refined English con artist who happily plies his profession of seducing wealthy and preferably gullible women on vacation, all while smoothly relieving them of their cash and jewels. But when a crass, loudmouth American hustler, played by Martin, arrives and sets up shop, well, if this were a Western, one of them would have to say, this town ain't big enough for both of us. But it's not a Western, and Kane's character is much too suave and sophisticated to challenge Martin to a shootout. Instead, he proposes a bet. The first to extract $50,000 from a selected mark wins, and the loser will leave town forever. They agree to target a newly arrived vacationer, played by Glenn Headley, who is reputedly the heiress to an American soap company fortune. The boys are devilishly appealing, of course, as they spring into action. But they are definitely scoundrels with few, if any, redeeming qualities. The plot becomes a series of fiendishly ingenious and funny cons within cons as the two men surpass each other, and even themselves, in their attempts to woo their charmingly ditzy, though surprisingly elusive, target. Big-name actors who are usually cast as likable protagonists might have second thoughts about playing two such reprehensible characters, no matter how funny they might be. But Michael Caine and Steve Martin had no such concerns. They jumped right into their roles with confidence and gleeful abandon, while actress Glenn Headley more than holds her own against the two comedy legends as she acts the hapless, innocent stereotype. She may look like a pushover, but she never quite seems to topple. At the helm of all this mischief was director Frank Oz, whose name you might not recognize, but he had started his career as co-creator of The Muppets and was the voice of Miss Piggy, Cookie Monster, and Fozzie Bear before turning to directing. Oz originally planned to have Martin and Kane play against their usual type, with Martin as the suave debonair con man and Kane as the brash intruder. But Martin felt his broad style of comedy would be better suited to the crass American, and Kane was happy to oblige. He later laughed. People would come on the set and expect the real-life Steve to be wild and crazy, and me to be British and reserved. But in fact, he's the serious one, and I'm the nutty one when the camera's not rolling. We are the exact opposite of what each of us plays on screen. The film was shot entirely on location by cinematographer Michael Ballhaus in some of the most scenic and popular destinations in the south of France, including the stunning Grand Hotel du Cap Ferrat and the interiors on sound stages at La Victorine Studio in Nice. Michael Caine remembered, it was the happiest film I ever made. Everyone was giggling all the time. And now it's time for you to giggle as you sit back and enjoy this perfect mixture of comedic chemistry and totally absurd situations in the movie whose title tells you just about everything you need to know. From Orion Pictures, it's Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. <laughs> 